Welcome back. Today I'm sharing how to make this beautiful snowflake cake using just a stencil and some buttercream. To make this cake, I'm using my go-to vanilla layer cake recipe, which I've created into three ombre layers. So these are eight inch cake layers, and I divided the batter into three separate bowls and added an increasing amount of blue gel food coloring to get these colors. I've torted these cake layers and trimmed the caramelization from the sides. So torting is cutting your layer horizontally across, and it's great because it creates thinner cake layers, which I love because it looks beautiful when you cut into the cake, and it also makes a great cake to frosting ratio. So I definitely use less frosting between my cake layers than I normally do when I have four layers. Once all those layers were stacked, I added a thin crumb coat and chilled the cake in the freezer for about five minutes until it was firm to the touch. I then smoothed this second thicker layer of frosting onto the cake and then went to work adding some coloring to the side. So I'm using sky blue, royal blue, and peacock Americolor gel food coloring and I'm mixing those with some vodka and using this cosmetic wedge to dab some of that onto the side of the cake. So it's important that your cake is fully chilled before you do this and that your buttercream has crusted just to help it stand up to the moisture that you're going to be adding with the mixture of gel food coloring and vodka. So I added on some dabs of the different colors and then began to blend them together with my lighter blue shade. And I actually blended them together almost too much. So at this point I decided to add some more royal blue around the cake just to give it a little bit more depth. And then I popped the cake into the freezer to let it firm up. Next, I took a half a cup of my leftover frosting and added an extra tablespoon of heavy cream to thin it out. I then took my snowflake stencil, which I ordered on Amazon, and I'll include the link in the video description below, and I wrapped it around my cake using some toothpicks. So one end did have a hole that I could use and the other didn't, so I actually just used an X-Acto knife and cut a hole on the other side so I could stick a toothpick through it. Then I took my thinned buttercream and carefully spread it over those snowflake cutouts. So the key here is to make sure that you're fully covering each snowflake pattern, but you don't need a ton of frosting because you want it to be a thin layer that you can easily peel the stencil away from. So I used my bench scraper to remove any excess frosting here, and then I very carefully peeled back my stencil. So my snowflake stayed in place because my cake was really chilled before I added them, but if you pull away your stencil and they're not forming the way you want them to, you can always pop your cake into the fridge or freezer for a few minutes to help your frosting firm up a bit to create more defined snowflakes. I repeated this process on the other half of my cake and my stencil pretty much fit exactly around the other half, which was great. If it doesn't fit that way, you could always trim your stencil or you could also just overlap and really carefully um, put the stencil over your existing snowflakes. So the last step to this cake was to add some frosting to the top and I decided to pipe a cute little border using a small French tip. I also couldn't resist adding some of my favorite neon yolk sprinkles to the top of this. So I picked a wintry blend that had some silvers, some navy blue, and some light blues. And I really felt like that completed the look. So that's it, our snowflake cake is complete. And now it's just time to cut in and see those beautiful thin ombre layers. So as you guys can see, torting those layers and making them thinner creates such a beautiful slice. I was obsessed with the way this looked. I almost didn't want to eat a bite of it, but you've always got to taste test a cake when you make it. Or maybe that's just me. So don't forget you guys, the recipe for my go-to vanilla layer cake and also for my American buttercream are both up on shellsweets.com and I'll include the links below. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I'll see you guys again soon.